update. Good morning. I was just thinking about communication as one of my side gigs. It was going to be when I was going to be a journalist. But I just, it came to me. There's always downloads, things that you think about, revelations, ideas. I thought about how people used to communicate in the old world. Travelers, you know, birds, pigeons, whatever. And so, for the most part, it was the spoken. You would meet somebody on your travels. You were going one way, they were going the other. You would exchange information to know what the road ahead was. So, they would know where they It was important. People searched out other humans. If you're on the road, and you saw another human being coming, you'd want to know. You, you wouldn't like avoid them. It was, and it wasn't like an act. Aggressive. It was something you understood that they had information you could use. Like, did you know where there's water holes, where there's food, where there's game, that kind of thing, right? And I think that might be missing a little more nowadays. It's, it's a control mechanism. You won't go there. I've been meeting a lot of people through this, on my journeys, and the communication is very intimate because you're, you're getting details on where they've been, what they've seen, what they've talked about. And ex you know who they've talked to, so you know where you're going, you know what to expect on the road ahead. And that's important when you're traveling. And getting back into society, mingling, because when you have fear in society, nobody wants to talk to each other. They're afraid of this social distancing. That's another man. So you understand what I'm talking about. If you're hip, if you're enlightened, you understand exactly what I'm saying. And it's not something shocking. But maybe we just need to get back to the farmer's markets, get back to the one-on-one -on -one exchanging of information, ideas, thoughts, places you've been, what you've experienced. The idea of journalism was simple. You'd go out there and you'd experience, and then you'd write what you experienced. You wouldn't add, lib. you weren't fantasizing stuff, you weren't making up stories. You're simply see, telling what your eyes saw, what your senses were experiencing. That was true journalism. That's dead. <sighs> Let's hope it can be revived. And on my travels, we'll see what I can do. I'm, this is journalism in a, in a manner, I'm, but I'm being blocked by YouTube. Facebook I gave up on. So, I don't know. We'll see. But I just thought that was an interesting thought in the, in the travels. Meeting people, talking to them, getting information. It doesn't have to be all accurate. It's, it's, you're getting the other person's perspective, but it's still it's more than ignorance. It's more than blind, you know, blind faith is amazing, and I love the band. But, yeah, you've got to have some kind of recon. you got to understand where you're going. I have to do some recon mission because I don't know where I'm going, so i got to figure out where I'm going and we'll figure that out. That's part of my journey, too. Anyway, have a wonderful day. It's going to be a beautiful day where I'm at. St. San Simeon State Park. The Hearst, by the Hearst Castle. Three bucks a night. That's a joke. People don't know about it. Anyway, I'm going to stay here until I can figure out what to do with my insurance and if I can even drive my girl. But we'll go there. Optical Road, I'm telling you. Anyway, I love you. Have a wonderful day. God loves you. The universe loves you. Of course. Rock it. Okay, that's it.